Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Dark Souls 2. And in this particular uh, episode, I'm going to play as a handmaiden or woman in the kitchen build. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, I guess. And we're going to see how many fights I can win or lose, for that matter, with this. So, basically, my stats are like this. I'm pretty high level. I think I'm 288. Uh, these are my weapons I'm using. And the reason I'm using this kind of stuff is because I figure if the handmaid laden's gonna break, I need some form of a weapon for backup. Um, and I figured the knife and the dagger I think are kind of cool. I think that kind of suits a handmaiden a little bit. So some form of protection, like the knife for like cutting things, I guess, and the dagger for actual protection purposes. So that's kind of what I was going for. Uh, in all honesty, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. I don't know what that move does, but I'm only assuming it makes you more resistant to fire. I can only assume. Oh shit, I didn't let it go. Let it long enough. Oh wow, I pulled that off. <laughs> okay, this guy's kind of making it too easy. I think he just gave up. I honestly think he gave up. I think after a while, he th I think he did. I don't know why. I mean, he definitely left himself vulnerable to those backstabs way too many times. And I mean, that's the one thing with this weapon that I think you really got to take into consideration is it that the ladle has no reach basically so you got to be so close in their face to do any damage and then on top of that you got to hope that they don't have much poise which making which is making me wonder uh, I'm gonna okay I'm actually gonna try to take this off the bracing knuckle ring I want to see how long the ladle lasts for in a fight because I'm it almost seems like it's not even making a difference to be honest because it only has 10 durability to begin with, and I think it's going down uh, just crazy. So, we're going to try it without it. I want to see if I can... Because uh, I, I wanted to keep the health. That's the thing, I really want to keep the health. Because I feel like the health is kind of necessary with this build. Oh, what? Alright. I'm not trying to actually do that either, but it just kind of happens that way. Alright, so I'm doing a little bit more poise damage. And I think that is actually helping. Because that's the one thing this thing lacks, is poise. Yeah, see, if anything, it's going down just as fast. Oh shit, that could have been really bad. Ah, oh, man, he hit me. Okay, well that's okay. We still got time. Oh, he's hitting me some more. Ah! Okay, so I gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Thank God he swung with that weapon instead of the other. Oh, okay, my weapon is out of use, or er, firepower. Oh my god, I'm not doing good. Gotta switch to the dagger. I hate to do it, but... I need personal, I need some protection. I need some personal protection. Oh, could've been bad, could've been bad, could've been bad. 
Oh, shit, huh? Ah, he did the same thing. Ah, man. So close. So close. Oh. Damn. It's 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 hard. You really got to time things because uh you don't do the kind of damage that you would normally do with a weapon. And this thing has no counter damage at all. So every time you hit, that's that's the damage. You don't get bonus damage for attacking them at the right time. So you have to take that into consideration as well with this weapon. Which makes um the handmaiden ladle not really a weapon at all. More of just a spoon for cooking. But, I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, we got uh, Jester's outfit. So, how do we deal with this? How do we deal with this? Oh, and he's lagging, I think. Fuck. Man, that's insane. I'm probably gonna lose this one. Like, I got no reach on this thing. I don't know if it's the lag in this particular situation, or... I don't know. I can't really hit this guy. Oh, I hit him there. Hmm. <laughs> Not much damage, though. Oh. Oh, he's got one, too. He's got one, too. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I'm not very good with my own weapon. Ooh, you almost got me there. Things are gonna break on me before I really get the use out of it. Okay, it's broken. Fuck! It's fucking broken. Damn it. Oh, what? Oh, the le oh, good. That's what I meant to do. Uh, this is a bad fight. This is bad. See how what I mean has like no range? Not much of a weapon if you ask me. Uh, he's gonna get. He's gonna. St he's gonna switch his weapon shortly. He's gonna. He, he has to. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We're both so low health right now. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm fucked. And, and he's lag. Um, I must have one health left. Seriously, I must have one health. Oh, it's down to the number. Oh my god, this is insane. This is an intense fight. Oh. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm so fucking nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> no, no, didn't work. Didn't work. Oh my god. Oh, I that deserves a bow. Wow. I mean, he probably could have killed me. Ah, oh, fuck, my, la my ladle is actually broken now. <laughs> okay, so... Oh man, oh man, oh man.
that's that was a tough one. <laughs> that was that was tough. Wow. But it was a good one though. It was kind of good. I didn't really deal much damage to him until after he switched his weapon though. <laughs> it's one of the hardest things to use. The hand mains ladle. I it, it really is the hardest thing to use. I I don't because it, it breaks so easily as well, so... I, unless there's a way of doing it that I'm not aware of. But I'm pretty sure there isn't, so... Ow. He's using the sun sword, right? Shit. I'm waiting for him to parry. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes for it. Oh my god, I hate that turnaround attack. Good thing I have a shit ton of health, huh? Ah, oh, man. Yes! Mannequin knife. Or my knife of justice, I mean. <laughs> oh, my poor ladle. My poor ladle. It's broken. I can't use it in a fight anymore. It still does 250 damage. What the hell? Is that supposed to do that much damage still? Wait, what? It still does 250. Oh. Because it's broken, it only loses 19 damage. Because it's mundane. So you can basically still use the ladle, but it'll do 19 less damage. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Cool, okay. That's kind of interesting to know. Oh, what the fuck? I... My guy didn't run fast. Well, that's a good way to die, I think. I think that really shows commitment. Or something like that, anyway. But anyway, uh, shit. That's uh, in a bad spot. Alright, so this thing's broken, but, uh, doesn't matter. I didn't know this. I mean, it only loses that much damage, so. I don't really care. That is kind of nifty. Alright, I'm gonna try this one again. I can't remember how much damage this thing did when it was non mundane. Plus the 50. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why I do that every single time. Alright, let's do this shit. Yeah, the damage. For a broken weapon, you know. Oh, but you see, that's the one thing. If I imbued it with anything else, then it would be useless. Oh, so we know this move. Interesting. Punish. This is really neat. I did not know that this thing doesn't need that ring. That's pretty awesome. I mean, you only lose 19 damage. And in all honesty, I could care less about 19 damage. 
especially if it doesn't gonna isn't gonna break. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's something I didn't know. I th I wish there was something else I could do to buff the damage of the handmaiden a little, because I, I don't know what else to use on it. Because if I could get a little bit more damage, it might become more of a justifiable weapon, other than just having 250 mundane damage, which is good to have. Don't get me wrong. Sandman is using a very big weapon, and I'm using a little. All right, not off to the best of starts right now. Either is he, by the seams of it. Okay, so we gotta be just just gotta be careful here. That's all we gotta do. This guy seems like he's the kind of man to swing his. Sw oh. All right. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that shit. Okay, he's got a lot of poise, this guy. Okay, so because of that, I've got to be extra careful. I don't even know how the dagger does that much, or the ladle even does as much damage as it does. Oh! Okay, we gotta just stay easy. Take it easy. Oh my god, that move! It's delayed! Damn it! And the thing that kills me, he wasn't that good either. That's what that's what hurts. He's not good, but that move, I, I didn't know it was that delayed before it actually gets or hits you. Damn. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some. Mostly from really bad mistakes. <laughs> but, I guess you learn something, I suppose. Now, is this attack better? One thing I haven't been doing is... Okay, so that's that move set. Uh, see, it's not it's not very good. The, the power attacks on it. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Is the plunge attacks. Like this. I should try that. Okay, I don't know what that guy just ate, but... Okay. <laughs> Ow. Actually, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Excellent, I hit the wall. Okay. Oh, there it is. 639 damage. So if I use power attacks maybe for this weapon. Oh, nope, 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 not happening. The nameless one. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is trying to do. But he's not very good. Then I make really stupid mistakes, so. <laughs> because I get cocky. And he's done, because his attacks are so easy to dodge. Well, at least it made for uh, an easy fight, I guess, for the Ladle of Doom. This is what happens when uh, um, a kitchen wife gets upset. She she goes on a killing rampage. Starts murdering people with a ladle. And it does look like a pretty menacing ladle. I mean, look at look at those ropes and tape. Pretty menacing. Oh boy, I'm not gonna off to. I can't even see his weapon. Uh, we're off to a really grand start. <laughs> I couldn't even see his weapon. Uh, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Great. I can't... Man, so dumb. So dumb. 
And this guy tries to go for a backstab, you know? So he's probably using the Foom Sword. I can almost guarantee it. Ah, <laughs> uh, he gets hit on me. Oh, getting a little bit more damage. This guy is really trying hard to hit me off the map, isn't he? Yep, and he was almost successful. Oh, what? No wonder you can't even see that. That is so ridiculous. Oh, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? No! Technically, I won. Technically, I won. Technically. So don't judge me. Please don't judge me. It makes me insecure. Oh, man. The ladle of... I actually thought that fight was going to be a little bit harder, but um, now that I know that there's a power attack on this thing that actually might be useful. Oh, man. You know what? Maybe this one's not so bad either. You kind of lunge forward a little bit. It's not too shabby. Alright, well I'm going to end the video here guys, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun with this, and uh, I will catch you next time, peace.